Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today on the 15th of October with an as promised LEGO Midmonth City update. I haven't done a ton of work to the city these last 15 days, but I have done some. Over here in the center of the park, I, as you can see, I just have like the museum, just still, I have it actually fastened in place, which I didn't even know. I have like the fall little scene because I found that in my seasonal bin for when I was digging for Thanksgiving stuff. I'm like, oh, I might as well put it out. The trees are all somewhere else, I don't know. Here I have all the flowers to go like all around the perimeter of the beach area. As you can see I have the whole beach area all done up with like this little wall and then tiles all the way around. I decided I wasn't going to put a fence there just because it looked too weird. So I'm like, ah, who cares with all the flowers there, people can just come into the park. Over here I put like the flower boxes again with the bike shop and cafe and I think that looks really neat. Over here I have the police station and the hospital and nothing's been done over here. And I still plan to do something cool with that building. Still nothing done over here, I've got to get those lights in sometime. Then here's the big change. Shout out to those people who did guess right and guessed that it was a Lego roller coaster hidden behind the blanket in the last Lego City update. As you can see, I do have the Lego City roller coaster from BrickCoaster.com. It's a really cool little roller coaster and I made this like little mock to go with it. You know, with the walking platform all the way up, the roller coaster. And it goes faster with an actual roller coaster in it with a stronger push or a minifigure in it. And there's the other roller coaster. As you can see, like the entrance way. You know, do the roller coaster and then leave. And it's kind of cool. Uh, putting the Ferris wheel Lego set really, like right in here would I think would be really cool. And then as you can see, I just have like the Dairy Queen, and then I'm gonna put this giraffe statue somewhere. Over here in this little plaza here, I have like the big fountain, which is really cool, and I love all the little water studs in it. I have the NCIS building. I have like the hotel, and again, I still haven't rebuilt all the floors that fell. They're right here all the floors that are broken. I haven't rebuilt them yet. I'm going to. Next to that half finished hotel is the mall mock. And then as you can see, I have the ball here with the 2015 statue. I was originally gonna put it like right here, but I was afraid it would take away too much and I wasn't sure what to do. So what I've decided is I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ball here and it still works as you can see. I just, it's not as far as a drop, but it's still cool. And then like cars can drive through it through the year. And then on New Year's Eve, you know, It'll be like Times Square and we'll close the street and I just think it'll be really cool. That's pretty much it for this mid-month LEGO City update. I'm pretty happy with the progress and I feel it's starting to look like a city again after a couple days of, you know, not having the city. So, thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned for the November 1st LEGO City update. Thanks so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more Brick Lover 18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Brick Link. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.